Phil, we're in your showroom and we're stood in front of the VM10 HSI. Tell me all about this machine. Yeah, so this particular machine, uh, it's part of our VM uh, general purpose range, but this particular one's a little bit different to our normal VM10i. This is actually our HS version, so it's a high-speed spindle. On the standard VM10, it's a 10K spindle, but on this particular version, standardly it comes with a 20K, but we have the option of upping it to a 30,000 uh, RPM spindle. That's actually what this one is right here, right now. It's a 30K. That's massive for a machine of this size. What's yeah. the exact footprint of this so machine? It's roughly a two meter cube. Um, this particular machine would be perfect for things like electrodes, copper, that sort of stuff, that sort of machining. But if you're looking to be running uh, tools like, for example, maybe a half mil end mil or a 0.2 end mil, you can get that RPM that you need to run that type of tool. So it's perfect for that sort of thing. BT30 spindle, BT30. what difference does that make? Well, being as the fact that you're intending to run things much faster, you would need that rather than the usual 40 taper, uh, taper spindle that you'd expect from a normal VM10. So it's that style. Yeah. Any additional features that you can get on this machine? Yeah, cool. I mean, for example, probing is something I would definitely recommend. So we deal with Renishaw for our probes, our tool probes and part probes. Uh, and of course, you have the ability, if you really wanted to, you could add maybe an extra axis. You maybe could add, add a fourth axis to this if you really want to, given the envelope of the machine. Uh, the actual travel is 660 in the X, it's 406 in the Y and uh, 508 in the, uh, in the Z. And it's a 20 station tool changer. That's a really compact machine it is, uh, yeah, yeah. here that we've got. This part here, Yes. how was that programmed? So yeah, we have the ability, to, uh, using a particular option called solid model import, we can actually bring a step file straight to the machine. And that particular part on the left was programmed at the machine using that particular step file that you see just there. So we have the ability to go ahead and pick surfaces from this and conversation with the machine with that particular option. So that is set as standard on the machine? No, it's an option that you can buy with the machine. Yeah, Brilliant. Yeah. So that's loads of information yes. for a small machine like yep. this. Yep. Um, where can we get one? Yeah, so we currently have them in stock about a sort of maybe three to four week lead time. Obviously this one is for sale as well. This, is, this will be sold at an ex-demo price. But yeah, they're, they're available if you need them. They're a very good machine.